Oh no. The mic's still on, so. Oh. That's okay. Hi, we're we're behind the starting soon thing. <laughs> I didn't realize the mic was on. It's a good thing I didn't finish that sentence though. <laughs> Thank you for stopping me. Well, let me see what the oh no is. Uh, oh, right, we should probably go live. There we are. <laughs> yeah, you want to know what yeah. the oh no is? Let me see what the oh no is. Okay, we're going to go like this. Is the oh no that they don't want it? No, it's... it's that, that they had to bring it up? No, that it's Teddy Ruxpin. That no, God. <laughs> Throwing this out there, if you feel you need to erotically roleplay things, don't do it as Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs> um, That's nightmare inducing. Won't you be my special friend? No, God, no! Anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, ice cream. Ice cream! Ice cream never changes. And Fallout 3. Four. Fallout 4. Oh. I can switch it for you. Huh? I can switch it to three. No, we're good. I'm good with four. I've no. Been wanting to play this ever since we watched the ultimate Pam. Uh, the final Pam. The final Pam. Wrong word for ultimate. They're wrong word for final. Um, so, what we are doing mm -hmm. is obviously playing Fallout 4. Mm -hmm. um, I still say the best thing ever is describing the epic quests of the five main Fallout protagonists, because you don't count the non-RPGs, apparently, which would be Brotherhood of Steel and Tactics. Okay. Uh, and I just realized I don't have the subtitles on. I'll fix that once we're through the main opening. Okay. Which is Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman? Yeah, Ron Perlman's done the opening for, I want to say, four out of the five. Cool. Mm -hmm. I love Ron Perlman. He's such a great guy. Like, a lot of people say New Vegas doesn't count as a main game. I count it as a main game. <laughs> but it wasn't made by Bethesda. Neither were 1 and 2. Shut up. <laughs> if anything, New Vegas was made by old Interplay employees and old Bioware employees. That makes New Vegas more of a Fallout than 3 and 4. Yep. But I say 3 and 4 still count. Because um, they continue the narrative. 76, I don't think, will count. Mm -mm. Shelter, obviously, doesn't count. That's the casual game. It's fun. I love it. Just because something doesn't count doesn't mean it doesn't belong. Yeah. Um, it's like the what-ifs from Marvel. Mm -hmm. What-ifs totally belong. Hey, Mr. Handy. I love that things kept the 50s aesthetic here. Yeah. Um... But there is also a very minor idea that with the... Ex Sadly, a racism against Asians gets worse. But that the other isms get better. Mm. I, I wish the racism against Asians didn't get worse. That part sucks. I mean, it makes sense, but I don't like it. It makes sense because they were at war with China for forever. Mm. Um, and then China straight up invades Russia to get to us. And succeeds. Because the only country to ever successfully invade Russia before... Was China. Was China. Uh, Japan likes to say it, and really it was the Mongol... Uh, China under the Mongols. Yeah. But still. Anyway. That's because the Mongols were like, Bitch, it's just as cold where we come from. It's Everyone like, wait, so you're saying the problem is it's cold and you have very... Very arid land. One second, everybody. I have to go for a bit. Is it, Mom? It is. Alright, cool.
And we're back. Yay! And where did the game go? There it is. <laughs> the game feed cut out there for a second. Because we paused it in between transitions. Actually, I, I'm not sure if Ron Perlman did this one. I know he did a bunch of the other ones. Alright, so time to mess with the face. Are we going to play a man or a woman? Mm. Who do we care about here? Mm -hmm. I say let's be a dude this time. Okay. So. Alright, so we're going to mess with the face. Uh, well, actually, I think first we should go through the faces. And find one we like. So this face one, face two. Tell me when to stop. Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, oh, I like that one. Okay. If only because it's a redhead. <laughs> I mean, this guy's got that much more pronounced. Uh, no. Ooh, I like that dude. Ooh, wait, but Asian. <laughs> Uh, I like the Asian with the, I like the Asian guy with the beard. He was cool. Beardy, was it this guy? No. Well, that one's, that guy's pretty cool too, but that one. It's more of a mustache. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to stick with this face and we're going to modify it. Okay. So let's uh, go lips. Make him pretty. <laughs> Big poofy lips. <laughs> That's what you think pretty is? Tiny lips. Oh, God. Be saying. Oh, Lord. The, the character creation in this is so weird. I mean, you get to do crazy shit like this in a Bethesda game. I know, but it's just weird. He has a very strong jawline. No. <laughs> All right, full on JD chin then. No. Oh, God. Let's go. Actually, I think like slightly protruding. Why? Because I like slightly protruding chins. Okay. So, Alright. Uh, I mean, I do too. Alright, let's go to a nose. Let's see here. So we can do nose tip. He's been telling lies. <laughs> Where are we going here? Uh, I kind of like it when the... When the, the um, oh, crap. What's that part in the middle of your nose? Down here? Yeah. When it's kind of blunt. Oh, um, like, the tip. Yeah, I like it when it's a little thick. So you like wider noses? A little bit, yeah. Which, mind you, the idea of, okay, I'm just getting ready for this thing, is a little terrifying through this lens. Yeah. Like, that looks prob probably a little too feminine. And then we get to here, which is you need to talk to somebody about the injury you sustained. Right. <laughs> what do you mean, too feminine? I mean, like, it's it's a very uh, wifey nose. Now, waif? Wafey nose? Wafey nose. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, and this is apparently how we move the... Uh... No, keep his eyes the way they are. I like them. Okay. Ooh, what the? What? Uh, apparently, some messages to my sister expired. I don't know. Hmm. Weird. I think he's very handsome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lower brow. Low brow. Got it. <laughs> That's good. That's good where it is. Sorry, sorry, not, no, that, I, I like that higher. Go higher. Make him surprise. Yeah, there we go, that's good. <laughs> this just remind me of the character creator in Andromeda and how fucking pretty I made my, my boy writer. Oh god, I made his cheekbones too high. <laughs> now he's fat. There we go. At least it's not as terrifying as the final Pam. So you say. Mm. Okay, so let's go through our hairs. Okay. 
to a boot camp. Balding, midlifer. There's some options here. I'm, I'm seeing. I, I can see. Please not, the creeper. Please, God, no. Wait, wait, wait. I kind of like that one. Mm -hmm. The professor. No, 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 not, no. The dapper? Mm. Yeah, okay. the dapper. Well, that's Hold up. The dapper makes me think things. Okay. Where's the Howard Hughes? <laughs> yes! The oh my is actually very close. Um... <laughs> Commonwealthy Please tell me there's a Commonwealthy with a soul patch combo cuz that is pretty much Howard Hughes entirely. There's not There is me after a week of not having to put on pants. <laughs> but So are we going more for this? The oh my or this one? Wait, wait, go back up one. Smooth operator. No. Crap, no, what was the one with the soul patcher? Damn it, I don't know. Okay, so soul patch is just a soul patch. Yeah. Commonwealthy turns him into Walt fucking Disney. Oh, God! <laughs> which I kind of love. <laughs> Asian Walt Disney! <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the only thing we'd ever be able to call him. Um... <laughs> Oh, right, right. But also, let's do uh, his hair color. Okay. Because we did not change his hair color. Yeah. So we could go the bleaches, mm. ginger, auburn, deep red, <laughs> deep red, <laughs> graying. Slightly older Fallout hero. Mm. Steel gray, gray, silver, white, bleached. Mm. I'm kind of fond of grain. Yeah, I like that too. And then we can actually call him Asian Walt Disney. The Adventures, the Adventures of Asian Walt Disney. Okay, so now uh, is he a scrawny man? Is he large and in charge? <laughs> How about uh, a little combination between thin and muscular? Give him a Chris Pratt body. That'd be more on the muscular large size, honestly. Really? Yeah. Okay. There we go. I think he's pretty attractive. I'll go for that. All right, now... We get to Life's turn. We get to design the lady. All right, so uh, I think we should just pick a preset and go with it. <gasps> Ooh, I love the the fem fem. Yeah, she's great. Okay, I do like that. I want to mess with. Actually, no, this is pretty great. Right? Um, <laughs> she's pretty. I like her. <laughs> I do kind of want to mess with her lipstick. Okay. Oh no, that skin color. Fuck. No, leave it the same. I I was trying to get to lip. Stick. No. Is there a makeup option? Type. Oh god. What have you done? What have you done to our beautiful wife? This, this is, is not my beautiful house. <laughs> god damn it. Oh, E for extras. Here we go. Makeup. So let's see here. I don't like lip liner. No. It's just me. Yeah, lip net. Lipstick. All right. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Uh, oh, how matte is her lips? Yeah. Then we have lipstick. Which, that's the color. Hmm. Can we have goth Indian wife? Goth Indian wife! <laughs> okay, hold up. We're doing so, this. So, Asian Walt Disney and goth... <gasps> They're Morticia and Adams. They're both. 
they're both last name Adams. Sorry, his name is um, Gomez. Gomez and Morticia. All right, all right, I'll go for this. I'll go for this. Because he looks like Gomez if he was if he was if he was Asian. Because Gomez I mean, also kind of looks like Walt Disney. <laughs> yeah, they do have a, a bit of a similar deal going there, don't they? Yeah. So right, we right. have Indian Morticia and Asian Gomez. Oh, I love this. This is great. <laughs> Give her the darkest of eyeliner. <laughs> this is great. I'm way too easily amused. You are. Okay. So I think we're good there. Yep. I like how even though Mikel is not here, I've decided I just don't want to use her chair. Yeah, alright. Well, if that's the case, let's go back to Gomez here. Yeah, what are we going to do to him? I want to see what extras we can do to him. Cool. Because he went off to war. Yeah. So I imagine he did not come back entirely unmarked. So wait, let's get rid of his moles there. Yeah, and let's go down to damages. Okay. Uh, I am a sucker for the eye gash, but See, no. See, me too. That one, and I love it when it's over the nose. <laughs> kind of like the eyebrow. Ooh, right in the mustache. No. Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, I like that one. But, like, very subtle. Yeah. Alright, I like it. Yay. Let's do it. Let's get out of here. Okay, cool. Alright, and we are going to go back, and we are done. We have confirmed our character. We are playing Gomez <laughs> Smith. <laughs> Where's our baby? Hello, Hello Pugsley. Son. Oh my god! And he's and he's dark like us! Yes, uh, if I remember correctly, the baby's skin tone yeah. is modulated between the parents. Oh, that's cool. I, I might be 100% off base with that. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah, if you could yeah. get rid of that for me, that'd be fantastic. I'm gonna, because right. uh, I need to go get my trigger <laughs> for my laptop. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, oh... Mmm, delicious sugar bombs. <laughs> Guys, that is not the nose. Everything in this series is on the nose. That's the freaking point. Let's turn on general subtitles and dialogue subtitles. Uh, is it wrong that I want to eat a hot pocket now? Yes. You've had two already. Cigarettes, activate. <laughs> Wine, activate. What? It's a little early to go be drinking. Yeah. So The Radiation King line of television. So wait, this is like the 1950s, but with robots? It's the 2050s. What? Yes, yeah, so in the Fallout uh, series, yes. society... Never really... It, it kind of gets stuck. Because, you know, like, the 50s lasted too long. Yeah. Like, they lasted into the 60s. Yeah, they did, And they kinda. just kind of blend together. Yeah. The Fallout series goes under the premise that... That continues for a hundred years. Oh, Christ. And we go straight from one Cold War to another. Oh, Christ. That basically, once the Soviet Union falls... The Chinese Republic takes over. <laughs> oh, Lord. And the biggest thing is the transistor never gets invented. Huh. Everything's still tubes. So technology advances at the same clip. It's just weird. But it advances in a bulkier fashion. So, like, this is a big screen TV. It's, it's still a black and white TV. Uh. However, robotics technology. Where did you go, Codsworth? Look at him. You can fucking hover and everything. Discord, that was alerting me. No, the ding dong? No. Okay. Vault Tech calling. Ah, oh, dang it, I don't have the dialogue mod in. You know? What's okay. The dialogue? Uh, the dialogue mod turns it into a map, uh, turns it into a Fallout 4 style tree. Mm. Um, instead of the plus system. So let's hear. Vault Tech, go on. I'm not interested. Or, good morning! Vault-Tec! 
So, you know the idea behind Vault Tech, right? Yes. Okay. No. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, in the first game, all we knew was that there were vaults, and people lived in them, and that's how they survived. They were giant community bomb shelters. Yeah. The second game expanded on it to the idea of, we thought the Chinese would never launch. Yeah. Um, though there are hints that we launched first, and hints that something went full Skynet on us. Um, anyway, because of this, you have a... Excuse me, one second. You have uh, a system where they just have, well, let's turn the vaults into social experiments. Oh, weird. Because we're never going to use them anyway, so it'd be funny. Okay. So if you want, can you bring up a list of Fallout vaults? Do I have to? No. <laughs> I said you could. No. You can go back to your weird sexual roleplay <laughs> chat room. Anyway. <laughs> just put me on blast, why don't you? <laughs> yep. I got you ice cream. Why are you going to be so mean? So, oh, uh, so every game has the special system. Yeah. Um, and it's normally done in some sort of interview or something. Mm -hmm. So we have to decide what kind of character we're going to play. All right. Now, mind you, we're going to be using uh, god mode for a good chunk of this. <laughs> so not everything matters. Okay, but, but I want us to be intelligent enough that we just don't go, uh, uh, uh. That's fair. In fact, I, I normally like going about six in intelligence. Okay. Uh, let's go about six in luck. Okay. Uh, endurance is good to have a little hot... Let's bring everything up to three just to start. Okay. And then we have one point to bring something else above three. Charisma! Uh, yeah, let's do charisma. In fact, Yay. actually, what if we brought down strength and brought up charisma? We'll play a charismatic run. Cool. Um, why can I not accept this? Our, oh, because I didn't put my name in. <laughs> so what's our name? Uh, crap, I can't, I can't. All right, Tumgus it is. No, not Tumgus! <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you! Let's call us Raymond. Raymond? Everybody loves Raymond? I mean, I think our default names are Nick and Nora. Uh... Um, like the, uh, like the Thin Man movie. Because hmm. th there's a lot of film noir influence in this game. Oh. Uh, you know what? Hmm. In that case... Um Battle Blurt. No. His name was Roddy. Roddy? Yeah. For Rodimus. Yes! <laughs> okay, so not Rodimus. Damn you! <laughs> um you did that on purpose. Yeah, the minute you said Roddy, I knew where you were going for. Um <laughs> James. For James Roberts? No. <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> Sebastian. Not naming a character Sebastian. Why? It's a terrible name. Sebastian Stan would be so disappointed. No, yeah, I know. <laughs> How about Chris? No. Not another we're, Chris. We're not doing an MCU character. <laughs> or actor. Uh... <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. What? You're just trying to make this into a fandom thing. Just name him Gomez. Chavez it is. <laughs> Chavez? His name is Chavez. <laughs> Why not Gomez? He knows what he did. Uh, Alright. Well, because it's, he's not clearly not Gomez Adams, he's Chavez Smith. We are the off-brand. <laughs> off-brand Adamses? <laughs> yes. So instead of uh, Gomez and Morticia, it's Chavez and Nora. Yeah, they have hollow tapes. Oh, Sean's crying. Oh yeah, this is a name that they won't accept. Weirdly, Kyle is also a name they don't accept. Why? I don't know. You can name yourself Fuckwad. And you can't name yourself Kyle? No, like, you can, but Codsworth won't say Master Kyle. But he will say Master Fuckwad. What? Codsworth, I just want you to love me. Yep, little rocket mobile. It's not ominous at all. 
Oh, the Your Special Book was how you did it in Fallout 3. Oh. Uh, sounds fun. <laughs> Codsworth is very concerned. Okay, so the war has started. Uh, the 20 minute war has started. So we have less than 20 minutes. Oh shit, we gotta get to the fallout. So, so we have to get to Vault 111. Yeah, they would go to New York first, those dicks. <laughs> Ow. Her door just auto opens. Wait, are we not even gonna look back and see if our wife is making it? It's right there. We're fine. So there's the there's the vertebrate. Okay. Um, like I said, we will be doing uh, God mode type stuff later. Yeah. Stop packing. They have clothes extruders. Mm -hmm. They extrude your clothing like Play-Doh. So we're rich enough, we get to be in a vault. Oh, good. Um, because most of the poor people get shoved out into the radiation, including the guy who signed us up. So oh. They don't pay him enough. He's not Pam enough? He's not, uh, he, they don't pay him enough. Oh. Now, Vault 111 was an experiment in cryogenics. Oh. It's not a good experiment. It's not? Well, I mean, it's good in the fact that they tried a hypothesis. Okay, good, you made it to the gate, which makes no sense compared to every other gate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And there's the first atom bomb to go off. They're actually all dirty bombs. Oh, crap. There's the shockwave, which should have killed us. Yeah. Like, even if you were already descending, that would have killed you. <laughs> should have ripped the air right out of our lungs. Yeah. Which is why part of the theory is that you aren't from, uh, that you aren't the actual Nick. You just have his memories? Yeah. Weird. That everything else was fabricated because the only survivor was the actual Sean. Huh. But uh, that does kind of destroy the narrative a little bit. So yeah, it, it does. It's probably not true. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Mr. Russell. Ah! Ah! Ow! Sudden stabbing feeling in my pinky. Okay, so we got to go up the stairs. I see somebody found the doll I made of you and left behind at uh, GP Vegas. Why would you do that? Just <laughs> see what happens. Well, apparently someone likes stabbing me in the pancake. Okay, so I'm gonna take this suit. <laughs> Alright, so now we gotta walk through the vault. Slowly. And then get into our form-fitting jumpsuits. Cool. Close the door on other. Damn it. This is my chance to survive, damn it. <laughs> so, hi, Mrs. Callahan. Yeah, the vault system's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Uh, like, let's see here. There's. Vault 76, I think it is. Yeah. Is, uh... Oh, yeah, so now we're in our vault suit. Uh, uh, vault 76, everything was to be determined by gambling. That was the one under uh, Las Vegas. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, there's one vault where they... I want to say Vault 68 is uh, 99 men and one woman. And what? Vault 69 was the other way around. Yeah. Um, nobody talks about what happened in Vault 68. We just know that there... No, nobody was inside when it opened. A lot of skeletons. A lot of skeletons. Some of them in closets. Uh, meanwhile... Yeah. The other vault... Uh, 
we know kind of came out okay? The one with a bunch of women didn't <laughs> befall into a horrible, jealous war huh. over the only man. Yeah, mm, that seems about right. Uh, there was the one that's just a man in a box full of puppets. That one might be a joke, but we're not 100% sure. There's uh, the one where they released a live panther inside just to see what would happen. Seriously? Yep. Uh, one where they built one vault and then built an identical vault right next to it with the same number of people. But the people in the in vault, what was it, like 67B, all had this horrible, all had different diseases just to see how they would evolve. And then use those cures to make sure the people in the other vault didn't uh, fall victim to it. Wait, so what's happening? Uh, a couple people showed up, opened up Nora's pod. They're stealing her baby. <gasps> no! But that's our baby! Uh-huh. And... <gasps> they, they killed our wife. No! She dead. So they shut off the cryopods and then turned them back on. Why are we a backup? Reasons. Okay. Good reasons. They need a certain type of genetic code, probably. Mm. Or not. I don't know. I'm not their boss. Here we go. Now we get to come out of the vault. And here's the part where everyone hates me. TGM. Done. Now our story will never end. <laughs> Unless I fall off a cliff. So critical failure in cryogenic array. Meaning that a bunch of the cryopods have failed. So uh, none of the other pods will open. Everyone else is dead. Oh no! Non-potable water. Where's the potable water? <laughs> I want to pot something. I can take a hammer and a wrench and another wrench and a screwdriver. Now, we can't unlock that, sadly. So we have to take the long way around. Mm -hmm. uh, which is going to include punching things for a while. Yay! Uh, Unless we find a weapon. We found some cigarettes and a coffee cup and some drugs and some glue and a pencil. And a hallway. We found a hallway. Very good. I feel we're discovering things. <laughs> and hey, look, a bug. He'll be our friend. No, he won't. You're right. We should not eat that meat, though. Oh, we're totally eating that meat later. No, please don't. We're, we'll cook it first. Oh. But doesn't that... Do, don't, aren't they, like, filled with radiation and shit? Yes. Won't, won't that give us radiation poisoning? God, hey. I hate cockroaches. Get out of here. Uh, they are not the worst bugs in the wasteland. Really? Well, they're not the only ones that got big. Now, the centipedes got canceled. Oh, thank God. Fuck, they can fly! Jesus Christ! Uh, more, more of a hover, really. Oh, God, I fucking hate cockroaches. I hate them. Okay, we got more drugs. Yay! We got some skeletons. We have a gun. Oh, yay. We have a computer that somehow is still working. Cryolator. Okay, so we're going to use the unlock command on the cryolator here, which is not right. It is the worst thing to do, but on the other hand, I want to. So I'm taking it. So we have to use this gun for a while, though, because we don't have a, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, I have to go back to the computer and, uh, 
to open that door. Mm. But I'm going to see what else is in here. There is some cigarettes. Don't smoke cigarettes. Cigarettes aren't healthy. We were in god mode. Watch. Look how many bullets I can fire without my ammo going down. All of them? All of them. <laughs> Look, I have a double tap button on my mouse. <laughs> double tap. Always, du always double tap. Uh, okay, so let's hear. Open tunnel. We're not gonna, like, the logs or anything? I... Uh, we can... Uh, yeah, let's look at the logs, because you like lore. Yes, I do. Overseer instructions. Confidential, confidential, confidential. Overseer eyes only. Violation VTP-01011. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Your staff will be on short-term assignment to monitor basic cardiopulmonary and cogn cognitive functions. Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by Vault Tech technicians. They're all dead. Oh, God. Under no circumstances is suspension to be disrupted. There's your problem. Mm -hmm. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method of cadaver disposal. Oh, shit. Um, let me see here. I still have ice cream on my hand. Cryolator. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy time as we wait for the all-clear signal. Hmm. That never came. Right. Let's see here. All clear and evacuation. All clear message. Following a nuclear event, Voltec will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all clear notice. Upon receiving the all clear notice, Voltec personnel may be evacuated at overseer discretion. Disregard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with Voltec including government and military. Residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. Vault Tech will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff have been evacuated. I'm gonna go wash my hand because it's still covered go for in it. ice cream. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Overseer's Log. October 23. It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than I expected, but only Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Or one of the guys. Huh. Resident admittance went smoothly. Everything le ma Everyone made it, even the family that waited until the last minute. I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happened so fast for these people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. Go wash your hands, and we'll go over the rest of these. Alright, cool. It's so sticky! <laughs> it's chocolate, perverts. Yeah, all right, I could see that. I have banana phones stuck in my head. What? I have banana phones stuck in my head. <laughs> ring, 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 banana phone. Okay, strange issue to do with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. We realized almost too late that the prod pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic ray almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in vault -Tech's remote override systems may have sent, sent an errant signal. Mm. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. Mm. Supplies running low. There's been no all-clear signal yet, even though we're nearing the end of the 180-day mandatory shelter period. Hmm. So supplies are even are never intended to last much more than that. Despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals were breached that early. The whole point of the all-clear was to maintain it was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just. Uh oh. Oh. That's it? And then, mutiny. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me. Demanding that they. have turned on me. Demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door to be irradiated Idiot. to death out there. I'm con consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. 
I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's a few mu fewer. That's fewer mouths to feed. Now that's because this vault was not built to last. Yeah. Some vaults were. Some vaults were a hundred percent. Fuck were... you. <laughs> Oh, Christ! Oh, Christ! It moves so fast! Other vaults were meant to last for a long, long time. Damn it, die! Oh, no, if only there was some system to help with this. Well, there is. One reason you gotta love Fallout is bats. Hmm. People who are bad at shooters, eh, if you have enough points, you can pause the game. Or if you're cheating and using god mode, like us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're going to eat so much roach. So we're not going to get irradiated if we eat these roaches? Well, no, we're in god mode. We're god now. Right. We have become death, destroyer of worlds. <laughs> Is that roach eating a human? And I got him right up Main Street. Good. Is that the one that has a wedding ring on it? Uh, no, that was a joke. Mm. Because he had given uh, Nora's wedding ring to... Oh, did we never get her? We never got Nora's wedding ring. We gotta go back. We gotta open up her, uh... Cryopod? Her cryopod and get her ring. Oh, we have a vault. Oh, we have a Pip-Boy now. Yay, Pip-Boy! So now we have a menu. We can also play Donkey Kong. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> That's adorable. 64K RAM. How intense. I mean, considering the whole thing runs on tubes, that's actually very impressive. Yep. Uh, inventory. Is there a misc? Nope. Mods, ammo? Nope. All right. Uh, we're going to go back. We're going to go find Nora. Because that was... Our wife. Our wife. And I want her ring. So we can give it to new wife. When we get one. That seems a little messed up. You know how expensive rings are? True. Still seems a little messed up. I know. I just want a memento. Mm -hmm. From the corpse of our dead wife. Um, <laughs> yes. Try and keep this from getting creepy if you can. Damn it, I walked in a circle. Yeah. Let's try this again. Uh... Nope. This wasn't our cryo room. We were in a very different cryo room. Yep. Alright, try again. Is this one? Uh, yes. Alright. Oh, here we go. This is the only one we can open. Okay, now we got Nora's ring. We promised that we will find our son... Yay. And murder the bastard who killed her. Yay! Okay. So now we're going to use the pit boy to override the vault commands. Because, I mean, it's a portable computer on your wrist. What could be better? <laughs> Not one in your pocket. That'd be dumb. Yep. Uh, when we get home... We are going to uh, look through our tapes at home. Yeah. And basically, we're going to loot our old house. Cool. Then we're going to get a dog. Doggy! I'm going to back, actually. Hold up. We are going to go to weapons and equip the cryolator. Nice. What's happening? Oh, yeah, when you fire, it throws you back. <laughs> what is that? The cryolator. <laughs> when did we get it? Oh, I stole it with a hack. Oh. Uh, sadly, we weren't able to use it on any roaches. Mm. Um, though I know you would have enjoyed that. I would have. We, we might use it on some raiders later. Cool. Can we hack giving us a billion levels? Uh, we can. Yeah. I would like to avoid that for a moment. Okay. You'd, um, you'd rather level up normally? 
No, j just for a moment. Okay. Just for a little bit. I mean, we're already immortal. We're going to level up plenty fast with that. True. Uh, do we want to change anything? No, we're good. Yep. We're happy with ourselves. Yay! We're a lucky, 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 lucky luck boy. Yep. Uh, and I think what we might want to do... Yep. Uh, once we're through here... Yes. Is, uh... Actually, no. We'll, we'll get our equipment the right way. What, what's the right way? Um, the right way is the right way. Uh, mm -hmm. Killing things and stealing it off their corpses. That's the right way? That's the right way. Um, the wrong way is going to that secret place? Well, yeah, I don't know how they did that. No. Um, which I would find out eventually. For me, I just like to hack in items one at a time. Uh. Um, but, I mean, we're immortal and I can unlock any lock, so... That's good enough for yeah, you? That's good enough for me for now. We're, we're basically already, you know, Hercules. I mean, like, this would be suicide for most people. Shocked sigh. We, we can drink that water? We can. It's full of radiation. Oh, fuck. C3 radiations. Oh, crap! Because it's just been sitting out here in the wasteland. Shit. Okay. So we are... In a backyard, not ours. I love that that plastic flamingo managed to, to fucking yeah, just stay you, around. The, the amount of things that survive the Holocaust is a little surprising. The nuclear Holocaust, I should say. Yeah. Actually, the real one was also kind of surprising, I suppose. But you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, where's our house? Our house is down this way. Where's Metal Husband? It's Codsworth. Codsworth. Our good friend. Yes, I Oh, know. here he is. He's in front of our house. Our good friend in the He fucking... waited for us. Aww. Oh, he did go a little loony, though. Oh, no! What happened? The world, sir. He is programmed to make you as happy as possible. Oh no, I can see that becoming a billion different fan fictions. Not sexually. <laughs> we'll get to that robot. Actually, that's in New Vegas. That's Fisto. Um. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> Also the name of a He-Man character. However, <laughs> he would punch things, you see. Why did no one ever think of this? Who would expect a fist to fit anywhere? Oh, God. Yeah, there we go. Fisto, the fully integrated security transitionary officer. Oh, Technotronic Officer. So that's they the reprogrammed one? him to be a sex bot. Oh, God! In fact, you're the one who reprograms him. Oh. Oh, not for you. Lord. You okay? He wasn't able to fulfill his purpose. Oh Christ. Stay with me, buddy.
Thank you. I'm so glad he's going to be our companion. Alright. Lead the way. I love you, Cogsworth! So he is obviously not a romantic option. Oh, but I love him anyway. So somebody looted our holotapes. Oh no. Oh. He found something to fight. Shit. What are you fighting, Cogsworth? Cogsworth, god damn it! Oh, okay, so there were apparently roaches in this house. Oh, bloat flies. We accidentally froze Codsworth in the process. Oh no! He's okay, right? He's fine. Uh, I have the mod on where our companions can't die, because we don't need to deal with that. Good. Normally, the only companions that can't die is uh, is dog meat. You can't kill the dog. Okay. It's an immortal oh. dog. Yeah, well, because he wasn't in Fallout 3, and it made people sad. For obvious reasons why that would make people sad. Yeah, my dog died, now I gotta go back and go to an earlier save so my dog doesn't die. Yeah, and a lot of people did that. And a lot of people would forget to save. Yep, and then you get mad. Mm -hmm. Where's Codsworth? Where'd he go? He's somewhere. He'll show up. The AI for your companions isn't great. <laughs> We just get a Mr. Handy. We got the fuel. We just stole Codsworth's fuel. He's not using it. But shouldn't he be using it? Yeah, you'd think. I'm coming, buddy. Hey, a T98 helmet. Sweet. We didn't have a T98. Uh, sorry, a T49. Uh, we didn't have a T49 in here. Huh. How? Huh. Don't question it, I guess. Uh, we don't have crafting mode yet, so uh -huh. we can't white uh loot everything right um once we get uh power armor we can use this rig to uh use it and to modify it and craft stuff and, well craft power armor specifically yeah. maybe fix up our house no that's a different rig oh uh we got a dress you're gonna put us in a dress why not okay it was a question, not a condemnation. Oh, look! That, that's a beautiful color on us! Uh, actually, let's do the lab coat. Uh, let's see here. Where did it go? Lab coat gives us no added benefits, but at least we look like a crazy scientist. Woo! But, you we're know, that's scientists. always a plus. Wait, are we naked under the lab coat? I mean, you're always naked under your clothes. But is the lab coat the only thing we have on? Well, let's see. Whoa, shit. Oh, Christ. No, no. No, no, we look like... Now, now, Timmy, don't worry. <laughs> this is all part of modern medical science. So we're... We're Mr. Wizard. Well, I mean, from the fact I used Timmy, maybe Mr. Lizard. Yeah. We're Mr. Lizard. Gonna need another Timmy. <laughs> hey, it's... <laughs> Which, by the way, there is a Timmy in Jurassic Park. Oh, I know. And so we said that way too much when we rewatched Jurassic Park the other day. Oh, it was so much fun, though. Uh, because playing Jurassic Park made us want to watch Jurassic Park. Especially since all of the movies are on Netflix. Yes. Well, except for Jurassic World. Yeah, they, they don't have Jurassic World, no. which is the one I have ne never seen. Yeah. Because I don't think I've ever seen three all the way through. Really? I should probably fix that, like, tomorrow. Yeah. I've never, like, I haven't seen two since it, since I was, like, real little. Same. Oh, that's not true. One I hadn't seen since I was real little. One uh, I've seen a shit ton of. But, you know, I love one, so. Two I keep catching on TV. Two I've only seen, like, like I only saw it once when I was, like, 
little. Okay, so now we gotta go to Concord. Alright, where's Cogsworth? Is Are we uh, leaving him behind? Yes. Aww. We'll get we'll get him back. Right. He he is a permanent companion. Okay. Uh, but they're leaving him we're leaving him behind because we're gonna gain two more companions here in a minute. Okay. And they need to dump your party. Because oh. unlike earlier Fallout games, you get one uh, at a time. Aww. Uh, and I wanna say like number two you get a uh, sorry, uh two you get a three, I believe. Hmm. Same with one. And then three and four, you could have two at a time. Uh, and, like, my typical group in New Vegas was Veronica and, uh, crap, uh, Edie. I like Edie. Oh! That, that is gonna get very confusing, because in, in Mass Effect, there's an Edie. Yes, and they are both robots. Yep. However, Edie looks nothing like Edie. Because Edie, you see, is a, uh, as you know, oh is a humanoid robot with really, really cool, uh, what do you call, oh, right, do I have the legendary, oh, I don't have easy legendary on, but I do have legendary on, hmm. so I can customize in legendary enchantments. Hi, Tajerals, how are you doing? Hello! Uh, and I'm sorry if I don't quite catch you guys right away, because the chat's kind of off to the side yep. a little bit. There we go. I think I can see it now. Um, Sounds very confusing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All the EDs. It's very confusing. Okay, so one ED looks human. So one ED looks human. The other one looks kind of like a... Uh, she's an iBot. Okay. So next time when we see... You'll, we'll see an iBot, and I'll point her out. Okay. And it, it won't be ED. It'll be like an enemy iBot. But... They look the same. Like, yeah, you said I'm on, and, you, I don't, and I'm, I was very tempted to say you do realize I've, I've, I've played very little of this franchise. Yes. Um, iBots look kind of like just floating balls. <laughs> I am good. Thanks. Yeah, great. Corpse <laughs> spotted at Red Rocket. Start burn, baby, burn. What? Uh, play high, honey. Oh, no. Is this going to be sad? Oh, I pressed the R as I was, uh... We gotta find that dog. Where'd the dog go? Puppy, come back! Puppy, come back. You can be my best friend ever! <laughs> I don't know what you, I was... you tried. I did. Uh, is it down this way? Puppy. Puppy. Robert, puppy up here? I missed the puppy, is what happened. Oh, puppy. And I don't know where the puppy is. We Robert. lost the puppy. Robert, no! No, puppy, come back. No, oh, puppy! Uh-oh. Okay, don't shoot cars. <gasps> There's the puppy! Where's the puppy? <gasps> puppy! Puppy, I made booms! I love him! You're mine now. Oh, he reminds me of Rex! Yes. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, when uh, before I moved out of my mom's place... Um, the dog found something. Was it an explosion boy? Where are you? There you are. Before I moved out of my mom's place, I was living with my mom, obviously. And, um... <laughs> She, well, yeah, she, uh, and I adopted Good job, uh, boy. this this dog from uh, one of our local shelters, and um, he was a rescue dog, uh, and he was two years old, uh, and he was a German Shepherd mix. I I think he's part Doberman because he's super tall and thin and has Doberman coloring, and it took me forever to convince my mom that that is in fact what he was because my mom was like that. He can't be a Doberman. He doesn't have a, he doesn't have a docked tail. And I'm like, Mom, Dobermans don't come out with docked tails. They don't. No. Well, now I hate docked tails. I, well, it, I mean, it depends. I mean, they bred them to have shorter tails, but in general, they do not have docked tails. They have long, skinny ass tails. Okay, so we are hearing a lot of gunfire. 
Um, the thing is, the good guys are in there, so we're coming up behind the bad guys. Oh, good. I see them, I think. So we are hidden currently. Oh, caution. Don't see us, don't see us, don't see us! So we can't die, but our health can get low. Bubby, where are you Oh, going? no. I, I just like sneaking, because you get more damage. <gasps> we hit the dog! Sorry, puppy. Well, at least the dog can't die. What the fuck just happened to that dude? He exploded from being too cold. Stop hurting our dog! No, so anyway, yeah, our uh, Rex, who I love. Oh, that's a mannequin. Is uh, a German Shepherd mix. And every time I see a German Shepherd, I'm like, it's my puppy! Especially okay, one that's so. particularly dark. Let's see here. I love my puppy. I miss him. I'm going to see him in a couple days. I'm going to see him on Friday. I'm going to see him on Friday, along with the cat. My mom keeps trying to pawn that cat off on me, too. She's like, this is totally your cat. I'm like, you were the one who brought it home. Yeah, we, we actually can't take the cat. Yeah. We can't have pets. Yeah, we can't have pets. <laughs> Don't you hurt my dog. Dude, dog killed that guy. Good job, dog. Uh, yeah, uh, we can't have pets, period, so we couldn't take Rex or my mom's cat, which is fine, but, especially since Daphne has a tendency to pee on everything. Okay, so there's more guys inside. Ooh. Laser musket. So... Or as I like to... Wait, what's, what's the name of the, um, the gun from Futurama that Fry gets? My, uh... Uh... The one that goes like this. Oh god! No, no, I no, you're no, you're thinking of the 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 like the. the I want to say Scooty Puff Junior. Yeah, but it's because, a motorcycle. But that's not what I'm talking about. He does have a gun. They yeah, don't it, think it ever got a name. It's not. It doesn't have a name. It's just. I kept that. thinking it had a silly name. No, you were thinking of Scooty Puff Junior. <laughs> so let's say it's Scooty Puff Junior, but that also had a name. Wait, can I steal your clothes? No. Well... That'd be too easy. Wanna know something kind of, uh, weird and sad? What? My phone has now learned to correct some of my messages. And, uh, so has learned, hmm, you're talking to, you're talking to George. I should probably put, uh... I don't think you want to talk about Waterfowl. Yeah. Uh, okay. Water- wait, waterfall. What? What? You no, shot not. him in the dick! <laughs> you don't shoot a guy in the dick, man. Butters, you can't keep shooting guys in the dick! <laughs> I personally like shooting guys in the dick in a game. <laughs> I'm a bad person at heart. Uh, Cartman would not approve! Who cares what he approves of? I know! He's the worst child. He's the worst, period. He's the worst human being. <laughs> so. Oh my god. Yeah. Womp. No, no, uh, my phone has finally. Ah, shit! <laughs> has finally decided that it understands. Hmm. You're starting to press D A. I think you mean daddy. And I'm like, please don't. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What else can we share today? That might be a bad idea. I'm like, no, please don't. Oh, Hello, don't. and welcome to Red's Kink Hour. Anyway. <laughs> Wasn't even my idea. Oh, Lord. <laughs> to the basement. To the kitty cat! That was an adorable kitty picture. Uh, that's it? Oh. Oh, okay. So let's see if I can lock the, unlock this the right way. God. I know exactly what that's like. <laughs> Hello, Skyrim. Fusion core stolen. I just had horrible Skyrim flashbacks. Yeah, Skyrim actually took it from Fallout. Oh, fuck. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, maybe destroy your preconceived notions of fantasy fiction. That, that wasn't a preconceived notion. It was just I played Skyrim a lot. I know, I'm teasing. <laughs> okay, so... I miss, I miss my sneaky cat. How is there just melon in here? Because... Where the hell are they getting melons? Just fucking accept the melon! 
<laughs> oh my god, why does that remind me of uh, Ice Age? There's just some soda left behind. Dude, what is and that? And a skull. Wait, why, why does that remind me of uh, Ice Age? I don't know what I'm going to do with all these computer parts, but I'm going to hoard them. <laughs> you, yeah, you really are a hoarder, man. I love you. <laughs> you make me feel sad. I know I have a problem. <laughs> and I'm trying to get better about it. Yeah, I know you are. You're doing a mu you're doing you're doing much better. And the thing is like my brain says I'm not a hoarder cuz I don't keep like literal trash. Yeah. <gasps> you shot my dog. Fuck you. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a very visceral reaction there, dude. Imagine somebody shot Rex. You, no, I know. It's it, it's just it it was it was like that time when I was watching Law and Order SVU and the guy guy said uh, some shit about gay people and my immediate reaction was fuck you and it was very fast and uh, extremely visceral. <laughs> yeah, alright. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So I should go with like road leathers but I kind of personally like... Oh, that's even better than the gas mask. What? Like the gas mask is good for avoiding rads. Yeah. Says the man with invulnerability turned on. <laughs> but I really like the welder goggles. Yeah. Because, I mean, just look at us. <gasps> it's Preston! Oh my god, he he's he's very pretty. He's one of your companions, too. Oh god, I love him already. He's so pretty. He's going to tell you that, you know, you can read books to find ways to, into new adventures. Wait. Is he voiced by... No, I'm dicking around. <laughs> yeah, come on, hopes up. Uh, now, mind you, the minute we can get into a tuxedo, I am. Yeah. And then the minute I can get a, uh... Because we are clearly Gomez. Yeah. But we're Chavez Smith. Shut up. <laughs> Whatever, Gomez. <laughs> Alright. So the Minutemen decided that they're going to, uh, protect the world. Yay. And rebuild society. Being basically the East Coast version of the NCR. Oh, cool. Um, Dude, we look like Gomez. We do. Like, so hardcore with the goggles. With the welding goggles, that's exactly why I did it. <laughs> we, we should get a... We, we have got to get, like a, fen, uh, like, a sword at some point. That's what I was saying. There's a Chinese saber. So we're going to go up to the roof... And we are going to pop a nuclear generator battery cool. into a suit of power armor. Cool. And use that. Hey, Mom and Murphy, I'll hook you up with some drugs later. Hey, Bobblehead, you're mine now. <laughs> uh, the Bobbleheads give you stat bonuses, permanent stat bonuses. Oh, cool. Uh, a couple of them are skill bonuses and not stat, but you get the idea. Yeah. Oh, we leveled up. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, T to level up. Happens we in. have two ability pips we can spend. Yay! Um, let's see here. We have the... This music is oddly enough reminding me of some movies about Russia. Yeah, I can see that. All right, so we're going to go with more money Yay. and more gun. Yay! Ooh. I shouldn't be tired. I got eight hours. I didn't. I can't believe I slept in until ten. I, I, slept, I slept in pretty late, too. I know, but I have been waking up very religiously at, like, 6, 7.30 every yeah. day. Yeah. Hello, suit of power armor. And then fucking today, I, and then last night, I was like, I'm not gonna sleep. I'm gonna finish this picture I'm drawing. And I stayed up till nearly three in the morning. And and then I finally got to sleep. And I was like expecting to wake up at seven because so that's what my brain if does. If very short NPCs use one of these, yeah, the game will sometimes glitch out. 
Oh god. And uh, uh I think you're being shot at. What? Impossible. Oh shit. That is awesome. And flip these readers. Uh, I see him. We did not hit him once. These guys to your right. Even for the right. There you go. Yep, walking on top of a glass roof in a three-ton suit of armor. Nothing bad can come of this. Huh? Yep, we mowed him down and nothing bad happened at all. Oh wait, there you are. And Kathunk. Damn. You mean something's out there? Now you can also side with the raiders. Why? Uh, if you want to be an asshole. Look. Oh, that's right. They purposely pull you down this way because of this. Oh, fuck! Stay away from our puppy! Your dog is in trouble. I noticed. Oh, fuck. Are we dead? I feel like he's dead. Can we switch to our cryo later? That is somehow better than the- oh, thank god we killed it! Clear Concord of Hostiles. Where's our dog? We have to make puppy better. You know what? You are 100% correct. Stab the dog! Poor puppy! Our puppy is hurt! You feel better now. Yay. Where are we going, puppy? <gasps> there we go. I have a heads-up display. That's right. They took all the coke. How those, dare they? Those bastards! Now they have to die. Do hey, you think Nuka-Cola calls their soda nukes? <gasps> How dare you, Mr. Hover Over Stairs? <laughs> Rest of these, where are the rest of these bastards? Return to Preston. Okay. So we killed everybody? Kunk. Did we, did we kill everybody? I think everybody? we got everyone. Yay! We killed everybody! Let's Yay! Go. They're all dead. Oh wait, we have pieces of this we can swap out in the pit boy I think. Cool. I think I need to go lie down. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's just all of a sudden it started hitting me a lot worse. Ooh, this is a lot of comments. What the hell happened on Facebook? So let's end it here. Yay! Um, at least once we get through this cutscene. Yeah. Um, and then we'll do a bit more Fallout tomorrow. Yay! Alright, and so, like, I will go, oh, cool, you gave us more fusion stuff. How did he get, he had 50 of them. <laughs> Why would you ask us to go get the one? <laughs> you had 50. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's psychic. 
and also a druggie. Anyway, so, like, okay, so you go lie down, okay. and I will try to figure out some things. Um, a couple of the Flash game sites I've been on lately, mm -hmm. um, including the one you were on a moment ago that I want, well, the equivalent game. Yeah. You were on a moment ago. Yeah. Um, the site's not working. That's weird. I will, I'll show you what I mean when we're off stream. Yeah. Um, but it kind of sucks, because, like, I, if I want to... Well, that one I can't, because Twitch banned that game. But, for obvious reasons. But uh, a couple other Flash sites having the same problem. So it's like, if I want to do any of the Nitrome games on a stream, which I love the Nitrome games, I can't right now. I can't even load the site. Jesus, that's weird. And it's not like it's blocking me and saying, oh, it's dangerous or anything. Yeah. Um, it's just... Alright, it's just that, like, it's giving me an HTML loadout. It's dumb. I'll show you in a sec. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you guys watching, um, there are a couple things I need you to do. If you, I need you to go on our Twitch page, which, if you're watching this live, you're doing now. Or if you're watching this on Twitch, you're doing now. Uh, and hit that little heart. Very important. Uh, if you have Twitch Prime money, just steal money from Jeff Bezos. <gasps> right now, because you can do that every month. If you have Amazon Prime... Jeff Bezos gives you $5 every month to give to a streamer of your choice. Uh, you can give it to us. You can give it to somebody else. Yep. Um, if you don't pick us, I know a couple other good streamers out there who could deserve it. Um, Chuck, Whooper would probably enjoy it. Uh, Surge would probably like it. A couple different streamers that we talk to. Surge, not as much because he's way above our level. <laughs> but, I mean, he is he's very nice. Yeah. Um, Chuck's super cool. Whoop, super cool. Tristan, super cool. He's at Step Back History. Um, all those guys and more. Basically, if you see me host them, they're a cool person. And you should... If you don't want to help us, help them. Um, if you want to help both, please do. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, this one's very important as well. I need you to click that subscribe button. And then I need you to click the bell for some reason. Because <laughs> YouTube doesn't know how to pour water out of a boot with instructions on the heel. Yeah. And then I need you to uh, like it if you do. And subscribe if you want to. Yep. What's with the poke? I don't know. Okay. By now is a touch. Because, um, <laughs> yeah. You, you, okay, I'm going to be honest. This is so dumb. On YouTube, if you subscribe, they won't necessarily tell you when we update. Which if you weird. ring the bell, they won't necessarily tell you when we update. God damn it, YouTube, get your because, shit Because, oh, our users like this better. No, I think they're trying to save server room. And they're lying to everybody. But anyway, you need to do both, Ugh. or else YouTube says we're worthless. God damn it, YouTube. Um, Twitch, on the other hand, says, hey, click that heart. Great, you're done. Yep. Okay, do you want push notifications? Click the second button. If you don't get push notifications, we'll still tell you when we're live. Twitch, Twitch, I think, handles it much better. Yes. Uh, it's part of the reason I'm happy to work with Twitch. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, let's hear. Follow, subscribe, <laughs> Jeff Bezos money. Uh, Teespring. Teespring. Oh, yeah, we have a Teespring store. Uh, also, speaking of Jeff Bezos' money, yeah. if you really hate Jeff Bezos, give us his money, yes. and then don't order anything on Amazon from, like, the 10th to the 15th, because <gasps> there's a strike going on, and it'll make him mad. Yep. Cause, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Also, uh, some, some news... Uh, popping up about uh, my art blog because uh, mm -hmm. I know we have a link to it that will yes. soon be changing um, because I recently realized I have too many Tumblr blogs so uh, I'm consolidating some stuff. Uh, we'll update the link. Yeah, so we will update the link sometime soon. I would have done it all today but Tumblr's being an ass. Yeah. So, yeah, those, those sorts of things. Go take care of those Yes. and we'll meet up with you later. Alright. Bye, bye guys! Bye.